Hi there! This is the third video in my Sanctuary Systems series, where we are learning about how to run the technical stuff at our church, and building a broader understanding of the systems as we go. Now, this video is going to be pretty specific to our church, so if you are someone else who just stumbled upon this, you can skip this one. But do check out my channel, The Closet Hymnologist, for other tutorials and worship-related musings. Okay, shameless self-promotion out of the way, let's talk about uploading the sermon. Every week, at the end of the service, the sermon audio needs to get uploaded to the church website. It's fairly easy, and the steps are well outlined in the guides folder. But, because I'm a completionist, here they are again in video tutorial form. First, of course, remember to record the sermon using the UI24R mixer. We'll talk more about the mixer in future videos, but just as a reminder, to record the sermon, press the red record button on the mixer interface. Okay, so assuming it's been recorded, you now need to get it onto the computer. Go to the backstage room, take the USB uh, drive marked UI24R out of the mixer and load it onto the Mac. On the USB drive, there's a folder called recordings, and the sermon you just recorded will be the most recent file in that folder. To preview the audio file, you can select it and press the spacebar. The audio will play back in the headphones that are plugged into the monitor at the tech table. Next, we need to trim, edit, and convert the audio file. Right-click the sermon wave file and choose open with Audacity. Audacity will open and load the audio file. Now you can use the zoom buttons at the top and the scroll bar at the bottom to get to any parts you might need to trim. You can always click to place the cursor and press the space bar to listen. Well, since the advent of click and drag to select the part you want to delete. Then press the delete button on the keyboard. Repeat as needed. Click the select button on the lower left of the audio file window to select all, or just double click. Then in the top menu, click Effect, Normalize. And make sure the peak amplitude is set to 0 dB and click OK. Then, again from the menu, click Effect, Limiter. It should already be set like this, but you want the gain set to 5, limit set to negative 1, hold set to 10, and makeup gain set to yes. Click OK. Then go to File, Export, Export as MP3. The settings should already be correct, but verify it's set to constant bitrate of 192 kilobits per second, and force export to mono is checked. Save the MP3 to the sermon audio folder with a name that includes the date, like sermon 3.2022. Go to www.lakeviewcc.org forward slash login and log in to our uh, website admin portal. You'll have the login info if you need it. Then in the upper right, click Media, Messages, look at the most recent sermon posting, should be today's sermon, click the gray pencil icon to the right of the sermon title, scroll down to MP3 audio file to upload the sermon MP3 you just created. Click on Create Sermon, and it will take a minute to upload, but once it does, uh, you'll be back on the website and you can double check that it was uploaded by playing it. Well, since the and that's it. Now, I don't expect you to remember all the Ah, wait, full stop. Uh, I forgot something. Quit Audacity. You don't have to save the file because you've already exported it as an MP3. So don't save. And what was the other thing? Oh yeah, eject the thumb drive and um, don't forget to put it back into the UI24R mixer. Thanks. All right, now back to the end. Now, I don't expect you to remember all those steps, so again, they are printed in the guides folder. Next up, we'll talk about turning things off and a few troubleshooting tips in case things don't act the way you expect. <laughs> 